All right, Philly Key Sports here, the legendary Blue Horizon with Northeast Philly heavyweight Joey DeWaco and his trainer Brian McGinley. Uh, Joey has a fight Friday night at the Blue, his first appearance in Philadelphia as a professional. I guess let me start with Joe. How do you feel about Friday night? Good, man. Uh, training hard. I feel real good. Do you expect to get a fight in your hometown so soon? I know your um, debut was yeah, uh, elsewhere. Not, not really. I didn't expect to, but uh, I'm glad that I am. Yeah. So, uh, all my fans have come out to see me. Okay. Uh, Brian, uh, how long have you been uh, training, Joey? Probably for about three years now. Yeah, so you've been with him uh, through the amateurs, I guess? and the end of his amateur career. Yeah, so... Um, for a guy his size, you know, as a heavier, what does he bring to the table that you see? Speed, movement, condition, power. We have it, we have everything that needed in the game. Yeah. So you think he can? I guess for being with him that long, you're convinced that he can give guys yeah. trouble. Everybody claims that he's a small heavyweight. We're used to fighting big guys. They're not used to fighting small guys. So that's to our advantages. They're not going to fight somebody as fast as him that moves as good as him. And I mean, if you can't hit somebody, you can't beat them. I guess that was leading right up into my next question for you, Joe. I mean, some people do say you're, uh, you know, you're, you're too small for a heavyweight. Do you just block that out, or do you think yeah, that's an I mean, advantage? Or? I love fighting the big guys. Yeah. Yeah. My, uh, what I say is, if you ain't over six three, I don't want to fight you. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get in the boxing in the first place? Well, actually, uh, my grandpa, yeah, my grandpa took me to a local Golden Globes fight here at the Blue Horizon. Okay. Uh, I just said I wanted to try it, so he took me down to Harrogate Boxing Club and uh, I started down there. Now, Brian, where are you guys training out in now? We're training at Costello now as our home base gym. Okay, yeah, down in uh, Northeast Philly, yeah. kind of like Taconi, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, okay, so, yeah, it's a small gym, but it's coming, it's been around for a while, yeah. so, you know, now we're producing some pros out yep. of there, that's a good <laughs> thing, so, um, I mean, your amateur experience, I know maybe, you know, people watching it don't know yet, but can you give a little background on what you did as an amateur? Uh, I, mean, I was the, the youngest ever to win the U.S. Eastern Olympic Trials. I uh, won at the PAL tournament. Uh, basically everything as a junior, I won the under-19 tournament. I won the uh, under-19 world championships. I mean, I had a uh, good amateur career. Yeah, how old are you? I'm too? 19. Yeah, 19 years old. I don't know if the video will reflect that. I mean, that's yeah. very young and it's a lot, of, lot to accomplish at such yeah. a young age. Um, Brian, I mean, you've been around for quite a while. How is it for you like to mentor a younger guy compared to someone maybe who's older and been around longer? Is, it a, is there a difference? Or? No, I mean, it's, it's a pleasure because working with somebody, I probably learned more off of him than he learned off of me. So yeah. just watching him is like, it's a pleasure. I mean, like, being around in the game still, I mean, I ain't fought since 2000. Right like, now, I'm sorry, 1990. But uh, I've been in, involved in the game since 1984, so. I'm 44 now, so I've been involved since I was 14, 30 years. 30 years, yeah. So, yeah, it's a long time. It's a lot of experience. Um, can you give a little bit of a background, like when you started? I started at Box when I was 14. I was probably 81. I fought in the Junior Olympics, Golden Rolls, Mid Atlantic Tournament. I fought on the USA Boxing Team against Canada. Uh, I turned pro. I had a short average career. I mean, I had 53 average fights and 24 pro, 28 pro. Fights. And like 13 of them were down here in the legendary group. Yeah. So I was a house favorite here. Okay. And hopefully, you know, it's going to show that between him and I, like people I know that know him through me, we're going to have a big crowd here ourselves. So Billy's like, going to be a local favorite. I mean, for, for that night anyway. And hopefully. Sometime down the line, we'll, we'll get something good down here too. Okay. Maybe a state title or something like that. What part of Philly are you from? I'm from Fishtown. Fishtown, okay. And you're from, like, what part of Taconi? Yeah, okay. So, did you know each other before, you know, um, going to Costello or, you know, no, how you, like you said? We, we, uh, we met in the gym. Yeah. Yeah, just uh, connected there. He was like, Jimmy Lowry, uh, Jimmy Lowry and Mike Malloy were training him. I came in, I, I was helping Joey with the men for no other reason just to come in. And, the only, and when I started dealing with Joey, I was involved with Costello, it was too far to ride for me. I was up there spending six hours a day there. So then I figured I'd go in and work with Joey. 
You know what I mean? I met Joey at Mets with, and then they asked me would I work the Mets with him. Joey enjoyed working the Mets with me. I enjoyed holding the Mets for him. So it became a thing. I did a two days, one week, three days the next week, a day this week. And Joey, you know, would ask me to train him. Over a three period, three year period of time, we'd have to train them, train them, train them. And I always turn them down because I knew what kind of person I was. I wasn't going to be there all the time. And, and then he, he stepped to me and he asked me, and I finally said, Yeah, we'll do it. So that was three years ago. Okay, so this is uh, your second pro fight, Joe. Um, talk about your pro debut a little bit. The Philly guys know about you didn't get a chance to see it. So. Yeah, uh, I was in Louisiana. I uh, fought a guy. Tough guy, uh, he just kept coming. I fought a six round there. I won a six round unanimous decision. Uh, it was, I mean, it was good. I uh, gained experience from it. Uh, I mean, uh, like I said, the opponent was tough. But uh, that in itself, I mean, starting off with a six round, is that something you wanted, or was that just yeah, what, I mean, what was there I, for the uh, taking? Me and my team talked about it, and uh, it was just, it, it's just something that all the world champions have done, like in their pro debut coming out of the Olympics or whatever. So, uh, I mean, that's uh, basically why I did it. And uh, we talked about it and it was good. Right, cool. So what's your goal as a pro? Well, I mean, my goal is, everybody's goal as a pro to become a world champion. But uh, we're uh, gonna do it right. And, uh, build, build a record to, to become a world champion. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, a, that's what it's all about. Yeah, you know, getting yeah. the gold, make the money, you know, yeah. while you can. So, Brian, do you follow boxing closely, like, you know, outside of the local area? Not as much as I, I used to. I mean, yeah. When I first got involved with it, it was like a, a big thing for me. I'm just mainly just focused on Joey. I, I mean, I don't, I don't follow the amateurs no more. Anything I want to know about boxing, I ain't sure. Yeah. It's like the media. <laughs> so who do you think your uh, the biggest competition is for you out there? You know, once you get up to them um, higher levels in the heavyweights, I think it's still pretty open. Well, uh, but I mean, right now, I mean, it, it is open, but I mean, there's a lot of top players in there. Like Eddie Chambers is going to be fighting Klitschko, and uh, I think he's going to pull that out. But uh, I mean, there's going to be some tough fights up there. Yeah. But uh, we're not there yet. But, uh, we're yeah, I mean, I know it's a, I know it's a long road away, yeah, but. Yeah. We're working. So, you know, Friday, the blue, you know, what do you think is going to happen? You got any, uh, uh... I don't know anything about my opponent, but uh, all I know, he's from Cincinnati. His name is Ricardo Johnson, and he's 1-0. Uh, but uh, I'm predicting a, a very good performance and, and a, a win. Do something special for your hometown yeah, fans, right? Exactly. So, anything, uh, Brian, you want to say to close this up here? Joey, anything? Uh, just keep looking for uh, Joey DeVaco. He's going to be number one soon. All right. Well, there you have it from the Blue Horizon. Joey DeVaco, Brian McGill.